Christina, what are you doing here? Is Trey around? I, I was hoping I could talk to him about Sunny and the what, papers. Wait, but... Trey just left because he said he got a call from you. He went to go see you. No, I didn't call him. I knew it. Oh, no. Knew what? OK, one of you is going to have to tell me what's going on. I think Trey has gone to see his father. Trey's dad was here yeah. tonight. He had a gun. He tried to take Star hostage. And he would have if Trey didn't talk him out of it. OK, so, so you think that Trey's dad called him and he went to go see him? OK, well, there's no way that we could be completely sure, but that's what makes the most sense. The reports of shots fired on Pier 52. Near dad's work? Yes. The cops think that Scully might have been involved. Dad's down there right now. Dad's there? Why? Bernie called him, said something about Jace, and then the call dropped. Well, that's probably where Trey is. I got to get down there. Christina? Let go of me. I have to find he Trey. He can be with his father. Look, Scully tried to kill you before. He can be using no, Trey to lure you the in. The marriage is annulled, so there's no reason that... <sighs> is it Trey? I don't know. Hello? Christina? Uh, this is Tracy Quartermain. Trey is at my house and he needs you. Is his father there? Um... You'll be perfectly safe, I promise you. How can I be sure? Joe Scully cannot hurt you or anyone anymore. Just come. I'm sorry, Star. Somebody should have called by now. I'm going to the pier. Michael, it's too dangerous, please. But whatever Bernie told my dad about Jason sounded serious. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. I what know. if he's... No, don't. What if, Michael? What ifs can drive you crazy and you know that? It's my dad. Dad? Michael. I'm so glad to hear your voice. Uh, uh, where, where are you? Is Jason okay? Uh, I'm at Jason's. Okay, what's, what's going on? Is he all right? From what I understand, Scully shot uh, Bernie and then uh, Jason tried to save him. What tried to save him? What is that? Is Bernie dead? I'm afraid so, son. What about Jason? Uh... Ber Bertie told me that Jason was shot, went into the harbor. Sam's on her way there now. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm on my way there, too. No, no, you're not. Okay, I, I'm with the baby right now. I can't leave the baby alone. I have to get back to the pier. Dad, I need to do something to help Jason. I can't just sit here. The way you're going to help him is let me take care of Sam. The baby's alone. I don't have any... I can't do anything right now, Michael. Please, just take care of the baby, will you? Okay, I'll be right there. The diapers are in the bag. You can stay put until you hear from your Sam. Dad, I want to go with you. I already told you, Michael. You can't. The star already said she'd take care of the baby. Like, I want to be there. I don't for want Jason. you to see him. Okay? It, just, if something bad's happened, I'll let you know if I hear anything. I'll call you. Okay. You take care of that precious baby, okay? Of course. I've taken care of kids before. Thank you, both of you. Okay. Yes! Oh, good boy. Come here. Oh. Are you really good with him? Oh, don't give me too much credit. He's making it easy for me. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't have a better father than Jason. I don't know if I told you this or not, but when I was a, a baby, Jason raised me. He uh, actually named me. Did? How did that happen? Well, uh, my mom was away. I needed a name. So he named me after his best friend. Who later became your father? Yeah, that's right. I can't tell you how nice it is to know someone whose childhood was as convoluted as mine. You know, my, my biological father was A.J. Quartermain. Jason's brother. He and my mom didn't really get along, though. Oh. That's actually an understatement. <laughs> yeah, the parents at each other's throats have been there and done that, too. He actually wanted to take me away from my mom before I was even born. So my mom lied and said that I was Jason's. Jason went along with it? Yeah. It the first year of my life, I lived with him. By then, the truth came out, but I guess Jason felt responsible for me, so he's always just been there. Mm. Taking care of me and helping me out with whatever I needed. You know, he's, he's never 
been convicted, but he took a plea bargain to get sent to prison. With me. He got himself sent to prison? Yeah, to protect me. So the idea that anything can happen to him is... Hey, hey, hey. Don't do that to yourself, okay? You need to stay hopeful for as long as you possibly can. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Daddy's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird won't sing, Daddy's gonna buy you a diamond ring. And if that diamond ring turns brass, your daddy's gonna buy you a looking glass. So hush, little call my dad. baby, don't you cry. Your daddy loves you so much. Hush, little baby, don't say Hey, hey, do you uh, hear anything about Jason? Nothing. You're gonna have to hold on a second, Mike. Daddy, there? Daddy's gonna buy you a diamond ring. And if that diamond ring turns brass, did you find it then? Daddy's gonna buy you a looking glass. So hush, little baby, don't you cry. General Hospital. If I had any idea that you were packing that under those t-shirts, I would have blackmailed you to marry me. Spinelli, what are you doing? Looking for Jason? Jason's coming back. I know he is. This is Jason we're talking about. He always comes back. 